daily lives, we encounter news from across the globe regarding issues affecting humanity and the responses global leaders forge together to counter those humanitarian issues. Sustainable solutions require critical thinkers and creative problem solvers, and those future experts are the students of today. In 2023, our leaders are not only looking at education to improve literacy rates around the globe, but also prioritizing it to be the catalyst in helping humanity to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, established by the United Nations. The theme of this year's International Day of Education is to invest in people, prioritize education. And in the Pacific, we are doing exactly that. In this region, there is a team of experts who are focused on strengthening education at all levels. These experts from the Pacific Communities Educational Quality and Assessment Program, or ECAP, aim to break down social and development barriers, including gender inequality, the poverty cycle, and the impacts of climate change and of the pandemic through education. A key facet of investing in people is to prioritize education for all learners, regardless of the challenges they are facing. Supported by ECAP's work, our region now has quality education data that can be compared with statistics presented at a global level. For example, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, states that globally, six out of 10 children are not able to read and understand a simple story at age 10. This statistic can be compared with data gathered through ECAP's Pacific Islands Literacy and Numeracy Assessment, PILNA. PILNA is conducted at the year four and year six levels of primary education. This long-term regional assessment is administered through design and implementation support from ECAP's technical partner, the Australian Council for Educational Research. The PILNA 2021 data shows that 57% of Year 4 students in the region were performing below the regionally agreed minimum expected level of reading proficiency, while just 53% of Year 6 students were meeting or exceeding the minimum expected levels. Using PILNA data, education leaders across the Pacific can make informed judgments about how their nations perform in comparison to the statistics shared by UNESCO. More importantly, education leaders are able to use detailed information from PILNA to create Pacific-specific interventions that will support students, teachers, and school leaders in meeting SDG4 targets. Prioritizing these interventions and the funding to enable their execution is a solid investment in continuing to support a strong and resilient population in the Pacific through the youngest learners. ECAP also works at the secondary level by administering the South Pacific Form 7 Certificate Program. This program supports students of participating countries with a widely recognized qualification that will allow them to enter tertiary institutions and secure employment in the region. The program also provides the respective ministries with training for teachers in the program, technology tools to support the students and teachers, and of course cognitive data that ministries can use to invest in curriculum interventions at the secondary and lower secondary levels that will benefit the Pacific's future Year 13 students. At the tertiary level, ECAP works with education and training institutions to develop quality assure and accredit courses that are widely recognized across the region. Through this effort, more Pacific people are able to gain recognized knowledge and skills, which results in increased employability and improved livelihoods. Through improved skills and access to quality education, more of the region's population will have opportunities in critical sectors filling the skills gaps that exist in the Pacific. However, ECAP doesn't work alone in this space. The Pacific Regional Education Framework, or PACREF, is a 12-year education roadmap developed collaboratively with the heads of education systems and endorsed by the Pacific Education Ministers. The PACREF outlines the region's education and training priorities and strategies. As one of five implementing agencies of the PACREF, ECAP joins a truly regional approach to working collaboratively with member countries, 
prioritizing the development of regional public goods that will support all Pacific education systems in their efforts to provide access to high quality education to all Pacific Island learners. In our observance of the International Day of Education for 2023, we gratefully acknowledge the role of our donors, Australia and New Zealand, and other development partners without whom we would not be able to provide quality education data and related supports that are currently strengthening the region's education interventions at all levels. Prioritizing education through supporting critical and creative thinking, problem solving, and communication at all levels ensures that students will learn perhaps the most important skills of all, those of learning how to learn. Throughout our lives, the ability to approach new situations, new challenges, and come up with innovative solutions to address those challenges is key to sustainability. That makes prioritizing education an investment that will pay back tenfold and more over time. Prioritizing education means that everyone can access and benefit from the kind of education that will lead to lifelong learning. And that is an investment in all of our futures. Happy International Day of Education for 2023.